Mustafa says, we have a female garment shop. Can we display the clothes on female mannequins or does it come under the prohibition of statues? Of course, in Islam, it is totally prohibited to make statues. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, to Ali. This is what Ali narrates. Abu Hayyaj al-Usdi says, and he's a tabi'i. He said, Ali told me, shall I send you as the Prophet had sent me, alayhi salatu wasalam, he sent me and told me, do not leave a statue without breaking it and do not leave a high elevated grave without leveling it with the ground. So the instruction in Islam is not to have any statues. This is prohibited in Islam. That is statues of living creatures, men, animals, fish, birds, etc. However, there is a, an authentic hadith where the Prophet والسلام, had an appointment with Jibreel, peace be upon him. And the angel Jibreel was late. So the Prophet came out of his house only to find Jibreel waiting outside. So he said, Jibreel, why didn't you come in? And Jibreel, peace be upon him, said, we the angels do not enter a house where there is a statue or a portrait or a dog. So order the statue to be decapitated, remove the head, and then it becomes like a tree. No head, no life. And order the portrait to be painted over and order the puppy, the dog of Al-Hasan, which was under the bed, to be taken out and uh, uh, taken out of the house. Now, scholars say that it is permissible to have a mannequin without a head, providing it does not provoke lust and desire. So a normal body with a t-shirt, with a skirt, with trousers is okay. But when you have a sexy body or you have a bikini on a decapitated mannequin, this may provoke yeah, any sort of lust and desire of such figure, such perfect measurements and curves. And this is not permissible because in Islam, we tend to keep things safe and we tend to keep boys and girls away from means of fitna and of tribulation that might be caused by such things and Allah Azza wa knows best.